Okay, so I already did one of the eyes so the video wouldn't be super long. So all I did was start off with a transition color. So I used the Naked Basics palette and I put the color Naked 2 and basically just put that in my crease, like I said, as a transition color. So I blended that out and then I took a crease brush and I took my Naked 3 palette and I put the color Dark Side and started putting that in the outer corner and really working that into my crease. Um, I'm just mainly focusing on blending so I'll get the color that I really want so there's no harsh lines and like I said, just blend it out really, really well. And then I took the Eye Dust, which is by Jessie's Girl and it's in this color Pixie Dust. It's a really pretty shimmery, um, like silver glitter. I just love it. So basically I wet my eyeshadow brush and that way it picks up the product really well and I just start packing it on my lid and I just keep packing it until I get the color that I want and I want a ton of glitter so I packed a ton so feel free to put as much glitter as you want. So I started doing that. So once I got all that packed in, I just took um, an eye, a, the brush for my under eyes and I put the same color that I put in my crease, dark side, and I just blended that on the bottom of my um, lower lash line. And then in the inner corner, I just put more of the glitter dust, and then I blended that all out. And then just for a highlight on my brow bone, I took my Naked 3 palette again and put the color Strange. And then I just made sure I blended everything out, put a couple coats of mascara on, and that is the completed eye look. And then we're gonna focus on putting our concealer and bronzer. I already did my foundation. Okay, so then I took the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I did this as a concealer and kind of like, um, a brightener. I put that all underneath my eyes in like a triangle, upside down triangle. I put it down the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin, and blended all that out with a damp beauty sponge. I took the um, pointed side of the sponge and really worked that in underneath my eyes and made sure everything was blended. Then just to set the concealer so that um, it doesn't crease. I took my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and put that all over my face and underneath my eyes. And then we're gonna focus on bronzing. And yes, of course, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I used all three bronzers. And I worked that, you know, in the hollows of my cheeks. I put that on my forehead and chin. And sorry about the lighting. I don't know if it was my camera or the lighting, but I felt like it made my bronzer super, super orangey. So if it looks kind of harsh, I think it had to do with the lighting in my room. Um, but yeah, so I just blended all that out and really worked it into my skin so there was no harsh lines. I just used the highlight color that's in the contour kit. I just focused it a little above my the apples of my cheeks, a little above that, and then down the bridge of my nose, keep its bow as um, an all-around highlight. So I'm going to show you how to do an ombre lip. So basically I outlined my lips with a NYX lip pencil in the shade red and just focused that, you know, around my lips and then I filled it in. So I filled the entire lip in with the red lip pencil. And then what I did is after I put that on, I took this NYX um, vampy lipstick and I believe it's in the shade temptress and what I did is I took a lip pencil and focused that on the bottom outer corner of my lips and the top outer corner of my lips and really blended that into the center of the lip not all the way to the center but a little bit in so I made sure all that was blended out and then after that I took the, my favorite red Revlon lipstick which is in the shade cherry blossom and focused that on the top and bottom center of my lip worked that all together and blended out the colors and as you can see it gives a really beautiful ombre effect from dark to light. That is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you give it a try. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.